Dear Professor Ba, thank you very much for inviting me over again to uh, lecture together with you on a conference of the DAA. And it's my honor um, to collaborate with you and it was a nice weekend, I enjoyed uh, the lecturing. Uh, our topic was laser acupuncture, but more the use of laser not only for acupuncture as a replacement of metal needle, but the use of laser for diagnostic procedures and for therapeutic procedures. What is the importance of the laser in your clinic right now? The most important part of the laser is that it has now, since some years, the possibilities to have laser frequencies on a special area of the body, uh, in, in general, general areas like uh, joints, elbow joint or whatever joints or a whole part of the body like the column but also we have the possibility to give uh, laser frequencies especially on acupuncture points and we know that the most reaction on the point is then the best when a good frequency is chosen. Yeah, I think these are um, one of the things that are closely connected uh, with your name, with your scientific research. Uh, it's not only the auricular medicine, the detection of new uh, highly effective auricular acupuncture points, but moreover finding specific resonances for specific acupuncture points. Um, and this of course gives an additional therapeutic tool in comparison to the traditional metal needle. Absolutely, yes. And the lasers of the last years, and especially the very new ones, have always the possibility to choose one of the good frequencies we have. For example, this apparatus where we are here has a possibility to uh, create the frequency we want out of the literature, literature which we know from research which, uh, which frequency is good, we can integrate it here, we can choose it here and then this goes over to the laser beamer itself. This is a generator of the frequencies and is transferred to this apparatus which makes the laser beam to the areas of the body which we want to treat. Um. Both of us have been using the class 3B lasers for a long time. Um, both of us have good experience with the class 4 laser. Where do you see the main indications for this powerful uh, photon generator? The class 4 laser is really another class. It is much, much more effective and uh, we can treat most, mostly joints joints which are necessary to treat, which are bigger, like a joint, for example, with a knee. A knee is a very complicated, big joint, and then the older 3B lasers, we can also have a good effect, but it is not far as, as important for the treatment, and uh, if you have really bad problems with your knee, for example, then I would advise the class 4 laser and it will have much more effects, especially with a certain frequency which we call the self-heal frequency. Yeah. We both love the self-heal, the 4625 hertz uh, resonance. Um, yeah, and as you mentioned, all the given, all the known established resonances can be used by this new class 4 laser. Um, I think it's important to know the theory but uh, most important is to see the clinical approach and the clinical treatment. And I think your suggestion about treating of a wrist is a very good choice uh, for the glass yeah. wall laser. I think we will just show how, the, uh, how, how this works if we uh, want to treat uh, this problem. And we will make a little interval and take the laser googles and then we will show treatment of this.
Well, thank you very much for this very important uh, indication. Uh, talking about class four, it's really necessary uh, to use the protection of glasses. Yeah. Yes, the laser is very effective, which is a very good uh, thing to know. But also we have to take care about our eyes. And always when one uses the laser, as well as the patient, as well as the doctor, must wear the glasses to be sure that nothing uh, gets to a problem with the eye. Yes. Yeah, as you suggested, um, the wrist joint is a very good indication for the use of the class 4 laser. One of the great things about this class 4 laser is uh, for every big joint, there is a preset for the specific resonance of the joint. So now we decided to work on the wrist joint, so it's preset German Handgelenk wrist joint, uh, the right resonance. I can decide upon the maximum or minimum output power uh, of the laser beam. This is between 1 watt to 15 watt. To achieve a rapid effect, we decided to work uh, with an output power of 15 watt. We're talking about class 4 laser, so in this case, as mentioned before, we really have to use the protection glasses. So before starting, we use the protection glasses, and we have three measures of security. First of all, uh, we have the push out, emergency button. Then we have to enable the laser beam, and at the laser beam itself, there is an additional press button to start. So I'm curious to see how you will treat. I asked first our patient where is the maximum of pain, and I treat in this area, but not always on the same spot, but I go around because I know that the laser will be good for all these cells to enhance the, uh, the blood flow and to work on this better, um, inform gives a better information to be against, to act against pain. And after some time I look again how many joule I have given to the patient. For example, I see here about 400 joule has been done. And later, if it's more than 400 joule, then I make what I call a stutter technique. That means I make a little interval and I ask the patient to move where the pain has been before. And in most cases, the patient can always tell us that already after 400 joule it is better. And then if it's still a, a pain left, then I repeat and give another 400 joule. This is another security option. After one minute the device switches itself off and needs to be reactivated. Okay, enable and then I can put the laser again, and it's also good that the patient himself can also uh, give a little movement like this. And then normally I give another 400 joule, or when the patient says, tells us that the pain has completely gone, then we can stop and look how many joules we did give in the second phase, so it was now 158 joule. So with the 400 before, we have altogether 568, which is a wonderful normal um, energy on this area. And normally, then the patient feels already uh, significantly better. Yeah, I'm always impressed by the way you treat and from my own experience, by the rapid effects of this powerful laser device uh, that really gives pain relief um, almost on a point.
After having seen the treatment of the wrist joint, we want to demonstrate one fascinating other procedure of photobiomodulation, the stimulation of the stem cells. And once again, this device gives us terrific opportunities to do so. It's still set on the treatment we just gave to the patient, the wrist joint. And if I scroll on the display, I come to different other settings, different other resonances. And here is the famous self-heal resonance, the 4,625 hertz. The resonance from the flower self-heal, heal it all. Uh, it's a terrific resonance for stimulating stem cells. And Professor Barr um, will show us how to do this procedure. Before we start, once again, class 4 laser, we have to put on the protection glasses, enable again, and you may start with the treatment. This is treatment we give the laser beam on the tibia area because the laser will go through the bone and reach the inner parts of the tibia and to stimulate very, very strongly, astonishingly strong, the stem cells. And to know how the stem cells will be important for our future, we know this important because they have the regenerative possibilities and one very, very effective possibility is to stimulate the stem cells, but not only with any frequency we can use, but especially the frequency which is good for regeneration, the selfie frequency. So both things, both possibility effect, possible effects come together, the treatment and um, the strong treatment of the stem cells, and as well the possibility with a special frequency for regeneration. And this will be mostly important for older people. In our society we have more and more older people and we need the possibilities of the stem cells for the regeneration, not only for joints, for bigger joints like the knee joint or the hip joint, but also for our brain, which needs a little help and a little stimulation, and the stem cells can make a regeneration, and we hope that in the future we can treat many problems which are in connection of, uh, of the brain. I would absolutely agree, and thank you very much for the comments. The stem cells are pluripotent stem cells. They can develop in different tissues, in different organs. So from neurodegenerative diseases to other diseases of the elder patient, we have a huge capability. And we even may use the laser directly over affected organs in renal failure, liver impairment function. So we are just starting to understand the power of the laser. And yeah, light can heal. And, um, I'm very much impressed uh, that you are still fully enlightened, full of power, full open-minded for new technologies uh, and experiment, investigate, do research on this and immediately share this with colleagues all over the world for, as we like to say, for the benefit of our patients. Thank you very much. You are doing a great job. Thank you for the interview. Yes. And I agree 100% that just the stem cells are the most uh, important for our future because of the older generation we will have and it makes us see a very bright future for especially older people.